Hi, have you ever felt you wanted to know more about the people behind a project? I know I have. So we thought we'd tell you a bit about the SoTech team. Sustainable One World Technologies, to give us our full name, is a social enterprise striving for a better future for everyone. We are Dr John Mullett, Lynn McGough and Alison Chambers. John's background is in bio waste management. He worked with algae and vermiculture before becoming involved with the science and development of mixed waste treatment. He was employed by Waste Management International and was responsible for their organic waste treatment operations in 23 countries worldwide. He then set up his own successful company to innovate and develop organic waste recycling facilities in the UK. Lynn worked in environmental and biochemical labs before moving to the Royal Society of Chemistry, where she became a technical editor for a number of their chemistry and environmental journals. After producing technical marketing materials for John's company, she became part of the team designing and permitting the company's waste facilities, eventually becoming responsible for planning permissions, permitting issues and health and safety within the company. Alison's background is in finance. She has over 20 years financial experience and was finance manager for John's company. She also manages the accounts for a number of small private companies. In our previous company, John designed and built seven commercial size in-vessel composting facilities and two anaerobic digestion facilities, each treating between 15 and 40,000 tonnes of waste per year. They were ahead of their time and value engineered to make them affordable at a time when recycling was not widespread. It all started in Cambridge with the building of a composting plant for organic waste including green waste, paper, cardboard and food waste, a first for the UK. The company went on to build another two of these composting plants. He also developed a way of separating the organic fraction from mixed waste using drum pretreatment. The organics could then be composted. The company built four of these plants. Other innovations in the composting plants included ways of monitoring the compost temperature remotely, an air management system using ozone to remove odours, and double ended composting tunnels for a one way flow of materials through the plant. We then moved on to designing anaerobic digestion facilities for food waste that were low level to reduce visual intrusion. These facilities produced a liquid fertiliser for use on farmland and biogas which was improved to be suitable for injection into the national gas grid. During this time we had experimented with using butyl rubber as a material for anaerobic digesters and realised the potential of this material in aid and development situations. It was robust, gas tight and could be rolled up for transportation. The three of us wanted to pursue that possibility further and that was the foundation of SOTEC. So, rather than a spin-out from a university, we are a spin-out from a commercial company. We hope you have found this brief introduction to the background of the SOTEC team of interest. If you want to find out more details, check out our website or feel free to contact us.